New tonight, an Amazon delivery driver was carjacked on the west side of Indianapolis as he was dropping off packages. Yeah, two men got away with the car, several packages after holding the delivery driver at gunpoint. News 8's Eric Feldman spoke with that driver about the risk they face in the field. He joins us live now with more. Eric. Mike and Brooke, the driver tells me that he does his best to get all of his delivery drop offs done before it gets too dark, especially now the days after Cyber Monday where there are tons of packages being delivered. And he says that as it gets darker, he feels it's a little more dangerous out there. And he unfortunately learned firsthand just yesterday. The holiday season means busy days for Sergio Palacio as he delivers cars filled with packages from Amazon. Wednesday was just another day on the job until... Uh, I felt a gun in my face. He was on the 300 block of Red Tail Lane on the west side of Indy when two men came up to his van. One said... Get out. And the other guy pulled me out from the left arm. And then what the, uh, the guy with the gun hit me in the head. He says he can only hear 20% out of his right ear now. The carjackers took his van and the packages inside. Sergio thinks the two men targeted him for a specific reason. They asked me first, uh, one of the guys, if I delivered him. And they said, yes, I delivered it. What company? Amazon? Police haven't been able to find those packages. Sergio says the thieves only got seven, and that's lucky. These days, 230, 240 packages, 170 and 60 stops. Amazon in a press release called Cyber Monday the single biggest shopping day in the company's history. Data trackers say people spent $58 billion online from Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday. And that's why Sergio and his family say they're shaken by the carjacking on Wednesday. You're having a whole bunch of expensive stuff in your van. Like, and you're going to neighborhoods that sometimes aren't really completely safe, especially at nighttime. And right now it's getting darker really quickly. For 17-year-old Sergio Jr., he's just happy dad is home. I just gave him a hug, told him I love him, and, you know, um, I'm glad he's still. We did hear from Amazon within the past hour, even though Sergio is not an Amazon employee, rather hired through a third party contractor. Amazon in this statement says this is a terrible incident. We are thankful the delivery driver is safe. Amazon is working with law enforcement and the delivery service partners as they investigate. And if we do hear anything else in this investigation, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, I'm live downtown. Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8. Okay.